Hey there and welcome to my channel. My name is Rocco and I do Daz 3D tutorial videos to help you to get the most out of your own renders. This is the next entry into the beginner series of videos that I've started just recently. Uh, in the last video, what we did, we looked at how to download and install our assets by using the Daz install manager and then where to find them in the content library. Uh, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then check out the link for the video in the top right hand corner of the screen where we are and then come back here for what to do next once you've got something installed. Uh, so what we can see here is an empty scene uh, and now it's time to fill it with something. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to add a character, a model, a person uh, into the scene and then we're going to stick some hair on her head, add some clothing and then maybe apply a pose to her also. Now over on this side of the screen you can see that we've got the content library tab selected. Uh, if you did watch the previous video you'll be kind of familiar with what I'm going to be doing here. Uh, and you can see here these various little options that we've got. We're going to ignore all of these except this top one called Daz Studio Format. And what we're going to do is we're going to give it a little double click. Now what we can see here are two directories within my content library. You will have something down here called my Daz 3D library or, or some such. Uh, I've actually renamed mine to that one just so I know what drive, what, what external drive I'm using with it. But in this video, what I'm going to be using is this one called Daz Tutorial. This is where I put assets temporarily so that when I'm doing these videos, I've got easy access to them and I'm not spending a minute, two minutes looking through everything I've got for the things that I want. Uh, I'm going to be using this directory. You won't have a Daz tutorial uh, directory there. You want to be looking in the Maz, my Daz 3D tutorial or something that's named uh, something similar to that underneath the Daz studio formats. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up the tutorial directory uh, and you do the same with yours if you're following along. Now, again, you'll get a deeper dive here into the, the directory structure that you've got. What you see will be different to mine probably depending on what you have installed and what I've got installed. As these directory names here, they get created as and when they're needed. Uh, but one thing that you should have is something called people. So I'm going to come down to people just right here and I'm going to double click it or you can press the little arrow that sits on just onto the left hand side of it if you wish. I'm going to double click it to expand it out. Now again, Things will be different depending on what you've got installed. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to this Genesis 8 female directory and I'm going to expand that out again. And then I'm going to come down to characters. Now all that sounds a little bit convoluted, but you'll soon get quickly used to it in this structure uh, as you go on. Now in this characters folder, what we see are the character models that we've got installed in our system uh, for this particular generation of model i'm going to get into different generations in the next video but for now we're going to be using this genesis 8 female models and these are the individual models that are created for that particular generation of model now for the sake of this video what i'm going to do is i'm going to be using this bj caprica that exists up here and i've got highlighted there however with what we're doing you can do this with any model that you might have in this directory, whether it's one of these two base Genesis models or anything else that you might already have download, downloaded and installed. Uh, incidentally, if you do want to follow along exactly, uh, you'll be able to find the links to everything that I use in this, uh, this tutorial video down below in the instruction in the description down below this video uh but what i'm going to do as i say i'm going to use this model uh this bj caprica model and all that we do to get her into the scene is we just double click on her and after a few moments your model will be loaded into the scene now the only difference that you'll probably see when you load your model in is that your model will be naked uh in the birthday suit as nature intended however with this being a family channel, we don't do such smut around here. And besides that, I don't think YouTube themselves will be too keen. Uh, so what I've done is I've jumped ahead slightly and dropped a little bikini thing on her to hide her modesty, keep her warm, and obviously to keep YouTube happy also. And so now what we need to be able to do is to, to put some hair on our model's head and then to get her dressed up properly because she doesn't want to be hanging around in, in a bikini all this time. Uh, and the way that we do that is if we come back over here into the the content library and look at characters and we just look a couple of directories down we have something called hair uh if i expand that out just by double click and then we can see by selecting this wf tail hair that we have a hair piece ready to go now what i'm going to do just before we we bring the hair in is we if we just come across to our model 
over here and just expand our model out if you remember in the graphical user interface video that we did a couple of videos back uh, we talked about this hierarchy that exists within our scene all of these items that we can see here that this tear these eyebrows eyelashes and of course the bra and the, the undies that uh, our models currently wearing these exist in a way that they are attached to our model as you can see uh, if we select the bra for instance and we move this translate the y translate uh, slider we can see even though that we move that the bra itself doesn't move likewise uh, the pants that she's wearing wouldn't move and this is because we what we've done is we've attached them to our model up here and what we're going to do with the hair is we're going to do exactly the same thing uh, if we just make sure that our model is selected in fact what we'll do just to begin with just for fun and games we won't select our model and what we'll do we'll come across to our hair and just like we did with the model to, to put it into our scene we'll double click it and there it is now that's not a good look uh i think she's ending looking something like cousin it out of the Adams family by that but as you can see though if we have the hair selected like we have when we start to move the sliders around unlike the the underwear that she's wearing the hair itself will move back and forwards so what we're going to do we're just going to select the hair again and delete it now we're going to select our model and we're going to double click on the hair piece and doesn't that look better straight away uh, if we expand the model out again we can see the hair now is part of that hierarchical structure underneath our model and if we click on it it doesn't move about which when you're wearing a wig that's what you want you want it stuck to your head however if we come up to our model and we move her about everything that's underneath her moves with her and stays where it should now one of the next things that we can do uh, and we can do this with absolutely everything if we come across to the hair piece again that's connected to our model just select it like this and we come back over to this little directory where it is and we just expand that out we can see there's another couple of directories below that one is called materials IRA, and the other is called presets uh, we'll start up in the presets you can see here there's a whole load of different ways that we can style the hair these are all dependent on on what the the artist who's created the hair piece has, has put in there but you can see there's a whole load of different styles in here with the hair being selected if we just give this one a click for instance a double click you can see that the style of the hair has changed somewhat uh and there's all different things we'll, we'll go over this one let's have a look just give it a double click and it will style the hair in the way that we want likewise if we come up to the materials uh, section and just expand that out also and come down to hair color we can see there's a whole variety of different colored hair available to us to change of hair so all we need to do is just double click on one where we've got the hair selected and the hair color will change maybe you want to go a little bit pink and the hair color will change oh well, but a really bright pink one so just by adding the air we then get access to all these materials and all these other little options uh, in the directory associated with that hair all i'm going to do i'm just going to go with this dark one up here i'm not going to go anything crazy or silly with it uh and there we go we've got some hair in our head we have coloured it and we've also styled it in a way that we want it to be styled. The next thing to do is to try and get some clothes on it. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to come back over to the content library. Just going to collapse the hair folder again just by double clicking it again. And we're going to go to the one above it that says clothing. Double click it to expand and you can see we've got a clothing uh, directory in here. If we come down to outfit you can see the clothing that we've got. A pair of shorts, a little t-shirt. We have got the options to add a little, I don't know, what's that, a belly chain. Never heard of a belly chain before. Uh, and a pair of sunglasses, if we so wish. Now, the way that we can do this is we can either add these things individually by, we've got the top, we could double click the top when we have our character selected. We can double click the shorts and it'll add it all in uh, individually. Uh, likewise, the, this particular outfit becomes, it comes with a, denim or what this is a little batch file it'll just add everything in there at once uh which just you press it once and it'll add the shorts the top the glasses the the, the belly chain all in one uh, i'm not going to add the the glasses or the belly chain so what we're going to do making sure that we are connected up to up top here with our our character we're going to come down to the shorts and we're just going to double click and the shorts get added in now what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn off our underpants 
she doesn't want to wear well she does want to be wearing them under shorts but we don't want to do that while you know they're going to be completely covered because sometimes you can get this little thing called poke through which again top right if you ever come across that there's a little video up there how to deal with it so i'm just going to turn them off uh just for now just so that we don't run in, into any problems with that and then likewise i'm going to come across to the t-shirt and i'm going to give this also a double click once again make sure that uh our model selected and i'm just going to give it a double click to add this little t-shirt in and there she is now in a t-shirt now as i alluded to a little bit earlier the the bra that she's wearing there is just poking through the the shirt a little bit uh which we don't want it's not a good look uh we there are ways to deal with that if you if you do insist on a wearing a bra but we're not going to deal with it in this video as it's beyond the scope of what we're doing so all that i'm going to do is just come up to the bra and this little uh icon that you see i should have mentioned this with the, the underpants earlier on her undies uh it's like a little eye if we just give that a click it will turn it off and it will hide it from our display uh, and as you can see it looks like a closed eye now next to it uh so there she is uh she's all dressed up uh, she's got a little top on, a little pair of shorts, she's got a wig on her head uh, and if we just spin the, the camera around a little bit we can see that she's all dressed up, raring to go uh, and ready to do whatever it is that we're going to get her to do uh, Incidentally, if I just press this little button at the bottom we just reset the view of our perspective camera so you might see me do that every now and again uh, So there she is, she's all dressed up, that's great Now, what we can do with her like what we did with the the hair is if we come across to uh the shorts that she's wearing for instance and come across back over to this uh directory where this this clothing items are and come up to this material section we can see that we've got a few different options for colors and and various different styles when it comes to the shorts and whatnot uh what we can do like i said if we've got the shorts connect uh, selected we can just double click again on any one of these options we'll go with this gray one uh, and it'll change the color and likewise if we were to select the top and come down here a little bit we could go for a black top if we wished or we could go with an orange top uh, whichever we see fit or we could go a purple whichever one that we want i think i might stick with white as i think the gray and the white might go okay uh sometimes you might get some uh options in there which does affect the style of the clothing but in this example it's really just the coloring and, and the textures that are used to uh, to color the clothing uh, that is available to us but keep your eye up for any sort of styles that we can do likewise if we did put the the sunglasses on and there's different colors and, and styles of the glasses there and the belly chain uh, that she's got up there might be in gold or silver or whatnot so keep your eye open in that material section uh, and that's it uh, we've got our character with with the hair on her head. We've got her dressed up. Uh, we haven't got any shoes in her, but that's not really a problem. Let's say she's a bit of a hippie type who doesn't wear shoes. Uh, but there she is. She's all ready to go, uh, all dressed up. And that's how easy it is to add characters in and to, to add clothing onto them and to put the hair onto them. So all that's left to do now is to take a look at what it would look like if it was rendered out or what she would look like if it was rendered out. Again, if you go back to the user interface video that I did and we come up to this little icon here next to where we select our cameras, we just give that into the drop down menu and come down to NVIDIA iRay and give that a click. After a moment or two, you'll get a little preview of what our model looks like uh, in, when she's rendered out now this isn't a great setup light and the default lighting that's in does uh, but we can have a, a little look around as she is at the moment uh, the gray the gray little shorts and the white top again if i just reset the view for a moment and then if i personally just jazz this up we can see that she's starting to look a whole lot better now what i've done i've added a little camera in here as well to give it a little bit more of a close-up uh, we've got the hair then we've got the t-shirt we've got the shorts I've jazzed it up a little bit with a little bit of better lighting and, and added this camera in, as I've mentioned. All that's left to do now, she's standing there a little bit bored, really, uh, in this standard ear pose that it's known as. Uh, all that's really left to do now is for it to, to give, her, give her a little bit of a pose, give her some life, and see what she does. And how we're going to do that is we're going to apply a set pose to her. Now, if we come across back over to our content library, close up that clothing, 
and come down to this one where it's a uh, pauses and again this is under genesis 8 female you'll get each directory of these under each generation and again i'll get into generations in the next video uh, if we come down to uh, this little folder here that i've got this is just a, a pre package set of pauses that I've, I've acquired off the DAS store at some point and as you can see there's a whole variety of different pauses in the way that we can put our character into what I'm going to do I'm going to select the pause uh, let's go with this one here I'm going to select this pause and again with our model selected at the top I'm then going to just double click and then we have our model in a little bit of a more interesting pause uh there's other little things we can do to if we wanted to to make that a bit more interesting we could give a smile to her if nothing else but uh you know we put her in the general pose she's got a basic bitch face look on her face let's face it uh but what we've done now we've, we've added this pose into to go with the t-shirt the she's got to go with the shorts that she's wearing and of course the hair that's there on her head and what we've basically done there is we've created a little quick scene uh yes the lighting i've done a little bit different and the camera i put in uh i've added a camera into there so we can look through this camera and we'll get on to how we do that in a, in the next few videos uh but what we've done there we've basically created the character from scratch we've dressed her up we've put the hair on her head and we've applied a pause uh and we've got a ready-made character ready to render out and so there we have it thanks for staying to the end of the video if you've got something out of this video then please give me a like down below as that really does help the video and the channel out in the youtube algorithm likewise if you haven't already please consider subscribing and hitting the little notification bell also down below uh, then that way you'll, you'll get informed whenever i drop the next video in this series or one of the other daz videos that i tend to do every now and again uh, finally if you have any comments or you have any questions whether it's about this video or about anything to do with daz in general drop them in the, the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. So once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.